On the last episode of What We Know, we talked about more info, a swap vehicle that was on their Instagram, and memes. The only reason we really talked about memes is because the developers have been asking to, <laughs> to add more memes to their Reddit, so that's the only reason why we've been talking about those. But they've actually had some information in the comment section, which is actually surprising, so I mean, I guess it's a good thing. All right, let's move on to the next one. So there really hasn't been a whole lot of information on any other thing except for the Reddit. As much as I would like to see other things, there just hasn't been anything. And I should probably say this now, I have been very busy lately, so I haven't been able to actually finish any videos to upload. Um, and it, it, it really kind of sucks because this is supposedly the month that they're going to be releasing the gameplay trailer and I'm trying to stay vigilant but I keep getting pulled aside to other things and it's like god damn it uh, I hope they do it before the 17th because I gotta go on another fucking vacation and it's like no all right well like I said they didn't have anything on their uh you know pretty much every other page that I've looked at the only thing that they've been doing anything is on the reddit which is okay for me I guess so I guess we're just gonna start with that and first we're gonna be starting with will there be emotes can I do the floss what the fuck is the floss? The floss. Oh my god, why? Why would we do that? And the developer replies with no. Which is just like, this is a serious game, why would you have emotes? Moving on, we have that feel when scrolling down on Reddit and you try to make a constructive post, but all you see is joke meme, joke meme, joke meme, joke meme. Someone in the comments says, to be fair, it's you Gunter's fault. And Gunter replies to this saying, everybody was thinking it, but you Flippy McKitty said it, snitch. They go on to talk about the trailer that's already been out, but la 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 la. All right, well, let's move on to the next one. And it says, couple questions. Okay, so will this game have any sort of defense missions? And also the physics when someone gets shot, will it be more like the euphoria? GTA 4 and Max Payne 3 used, where when someone gets shot, it's not a preset animation, but more like a ragdoll with life in it. Like if you shoot someone, will the character seem to try to struggle, to stand and cling to life, or will he just drop? Or is it going to be a defined animation, then ragdoll, like in a lot of games do? And the developer replies with, Obviously, we don't have access to Euphoria or anything like that. However, we're trying to emulate how real combat works and how adrenaline will affect somebody's body when shot. Even if a dude is about five seconds from passing out, he still may be a threat to you and your team. Interesting. Later on, he says, I personally wanted spinal damage along with Brancho, Femoral, Corotil, Arteries. However, it really depends on how we go and if it has a place. We've knocked the idea back before because of a fun factor. There's a balance you need to strike. However, Targets could still be shot fatally, but still move out of sight. And somebody clipped the comment part where he said, we've knocked the idea back before because of a fun factor. And he says, what are your thoughts on a mode where around one to two bullets anywhere kills you? Like insurgency, for example. This way, both sides are happy. And the developer replies to that saying, if the round is big enough and is the correct type for the target you're engaging, expect one to two shots to kill. But the area has to be somewhere where you'd actually die from, not from being shot in the foot or the hand. Later on, someone asks, you want that for PvP as well? And the developer says, possibly. A lot of information being done here. Up next, we have, hey, Nox Cooperative, how you doing, buddy? I see you're showing off your video. I've already seen it, so I don't know if I should really play it here. Like, maybe I'll play like a section. Here you go. And the developer replies with great video. Moving on to the next one. Operators operating. And it just shows a video of... Diversion? Uh, I don't know if I should really be playing this, but there I'll put the link in the description, I guess. But it seems interesting. Somebody in the comments says, Jokes aside, can we expect any sort of enemy combat such as this? And <clears throat> it's a link to the same video, but it's to a specific part where the guy runs up and he basically disarms this guy or tries to and the developer replies with as cool as it is that he'd go for your gun it's unlikely due to the difficulty of implementing that and the enjoyment factor all right well moving on to the next one it says can i play as a black guy that'd be cool and the developer says yep somebody else says what about a woman nope at least not at launch all right moving on to the next one how many weapons can we have i mean in my opinion i would say maybe like like two big primaries and one pistol but let's see what his question is hello i'm wondering how many weapons we can have in the game and if you will add some more after release maybe in dlc can we have the same in attack and defense i can't wait to see the gameplay next month or maybe later as you said before are you aiming for a potential deadline thanks and the developer replies with in ready or not both sides can use whatever weapon they want no limitations also big plans for more guns of course but they don't answer anything about the trailer damn god damn it 
Speaking of which, I also tried to ask like a question, like would there be anything that delays the game? Like would there be any like setbacks at all? Because you know the last thing I would want to do is say that oh well the gameplay trailer is supposed to be coming in around July and you know it doesn't show up. Like cause that, that'd be awkward as hell just saying. I didn't get any answers so it's whatever. So for the next one we have the holy month is coming. Pray Gunter so he delivers the new gameplay video. So they basically talk about cosmetics in the comment section and the developer just replies with big tasty ones that make sense, which is cool because, you know, I don't like that pink shit that fucking Call of Duty does every now and then or, you know, the, the crazy stuff that Battlefield is doing right now. And then he also says catch is the big stuff is only available in the supporter edition, which is like, dang. Oh man, I gotta get some more money. I'm broke. Moving on to the next one, which says persistent blood effects. Hi, will there be dynamic blood effects, such as splatter on walls and objects? It's hard to tell from the work in progress videos and GIFs so far. It looks like there will be blood just disappears after impact. I feel like that's sorely missing from a lot of games nowadays, especially FPS games. But if you look back to games like Soldier of Fortune and Remedy's Max Payne, games they had cool splatter effects. Killing Floor 2 is a notable exception, and they handle physics involved in a really neat way by having the whole level covered in a blood layer which gets revealed as appropriate and the developer simply says yeah blood stays which is cool i mean i would prefer it to stay than to you know disappear because wow re realism there we go moving on to the next one which says what's the point of allowing pre-orders before solid gameplay as far as I know, most people don't pre-order a game without having gameplay. And the developer replies with, We're showing gameplay and opening pre-orders at the same time. That's always been the plan. Would be a terrible idea to do otherwise. Yeah, I don't know where people keep getting the notion that they're showing pre-orders before the gameplay. They specifically said that they're going to, you know, show gameplay and pre-orders at the same time. So on the last video, I think it was this uh, post on Reddit that got a lot of people ramped up where it says, So I saw a Big Fry's video. Video on Ron News and he pointed out that you guys are making a pre-order available before we even get to see the gameplay. I think that's where everybody is getting that from. Um, listen, I, I don't even know, I, don't, I haven't watched Big Fry's videos like at all, so I don't know if that's true or not, but the last one that I saw, I don't think he actually talked about that. Like, I think this guy might have been trolling, but maybe it's just, you know, me, I, I don't know. I, I have not looked at his videos like at all, so I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But let's not stay on this. Let's move on to the next one. Question. Realistic doors? Will Ron have realistic doors that only open one way? Or will it have that crappy Swap 4 style doors that open both ways? What? Oh, I know what he's talking about. I was like, what? Cause, cause you know, doors only open one way. Would be interesting to include some self-closing doors that would need to be wedged or tied open to stay open. And the developer replies with, some doors open two ways, some open one way. Depends on the door. There's also sliding doors and revolving doors. Also, as mentioned on the website, doors can't automatically close at the moment, but it's something that we discussed before and are interested in examining at a later point in the future. <laughs> door Simulator 2018. So later on in the comments, Easy Street starts talking about SWAT 4, and I don't think that I should really include that because it's not relevant or ready or not. Okay, I, I will say that he's he's talking about the doors that they have in like schools and stuff, and this is the picture of what he shows. And he, he, he has that under a maybe for adding into Ron, but mostly he starts talking about SWAT 4. So yeah, that's pretty much what goes down in the comments section. Um, because he starts referring to SWAT a lot, SWAT 4 a lot, so, yeah. Up next we have, what does the 140 version actually include? I know it's two copies of the game plus really great benefits. What are they, and what is it really worth to spend 140? So the dev doesn't specifically respond to the comment that's here, but somebody talks about in-game stores and i don't know this is another thing i don't understand where they keep getting this from i think it's another comment that i saw way back when where people started talking about like void bucks or some shit but a developer replies to that saying no dev has officially mentioned an in-game store the discount is for our web stuff for merch and other stuff so yeah there's no in-game store as far as i know aside from just like buying dlc you know just just something i need to put out there before people start going nuts so that kind of sucks that they didn't answer that question but to be fair um that's something that they're gonna do hopefully this month when the gameplay trailer comes out so yeah moving on to the next one can we pre-order now i've seen a lot of people talking in game store and stuff but i have never heard of the devs talking about them so what's going on 
Hey, that's something I feel like they took from me, but I'm sure they didn't. There is no in-game store. We have not opened up pre-ordering. So I was actually reading the comments of this one, and somebody in the comments says, It's been pretty well explained in the FAQ. The whole controversy was caused by misinformation and speculation from a single YouTuber who people seem to have taken as word from the devs. Um, and another person says, Now they made a post, and I think it's all cleared up. What YouTuber, by the way? And it says, It's Big Fry. Oh. Oh no. Big Fry, what are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? Whoa, 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 what's with the inf misinformation, guy? Don't, don't do this. Don't do this. And the next post says, Can the devs address the pre-order controversy? I am very confused on where the information came from, what is legit and what is not, and the prices. Some people say there's an in-game store, microtransactions, a really high price edition i'm really confused i would appreciate it if somebody could explain what is actually going on preferably a dev or a mod not to be rude and no offense to the devs but i hope that this 140 version doesn't include a bunch of cosmetics or content that we can't obtain in the regular game i understood some gameplay dlc but if it is really a supporter edition it should have a larger amount of content than the normal game otherwise you're just using the word supporter instead of deluxe or something else and the developer replies with no in-game store or two versions one has some extra stuff for people who want to throw down 139.99 this isn't a controversy just people misreading and misunderstanding stuff interesting oh man what man i've been out and people have just been fucking going nuts over this shit all right let's move on to the next one these guys should make the next rainbow six game imagine a world where these devs made an r6 game based off of the book and then added a bunch of their own flair it would be mind-blowing sweet also the leak gamers would go back to cod and csgo somebody in the comments says they're not going to be around for when the trailer drops and the developer replies with we'll just wait till you get back to drop it got you fam and that's all he had to say on that situation too bad he doesn't reply to the freaking uh comment that's at the top here but you know whatever Moving on to the next one, and it says, If Ron is massively successful, are you guys planning on expanding? If Ron becomes very successful and rakes in the big bucks, will you guys expand with things like getting an HQ, hiring more people, and getting better software? Or are you planning to remain the same, aka without an office but hire some more people? And the developer replies with, Depends on how much we make. Ideally, it'd be great to have a home base for everyone to work at, but I've been on dev environments and it can be pretty crushing at times. No doubt our place would have alcohol on tap, with steel drum music playing 24-7, so it'd be pretty chill. Damn, can I have some? Alright, moving on to the next one. Which says, So the guy on the post talks about embassies and how insane how this could actually be a really tough area for like a you know tough mission but he replies to somebody else that talks about you know if there's going to be an editor in the game and there won't be an editor you could just use the ue4 to make maps neat idea overpowered so the next post says while we wait for the long-awaited release of ron door kickers is on sale what the hell is door kickers door kickers is a sale for just 2.99 my advertising here this is counted as advertising i probably shouldn't talk about another game on here but it's a really good swat rts rts Ooh, i'm interested i'm, I'm intrigued that lets you play a talk instead of the entire team have fun and the developer replies with door kickers is awesome i can't wait for their sequel Ooh. I mean, if they like it, I'm gonna go check it out myself. You know I mean? Alright, moving on to the next one. Hey devs, if you folks are looking for a trailer editor, I'd highly recommend this guy who made the Subnautica and Firewatch trailers. His main point being selling the game without spoiling the story. And it just sends like a website to a guy that I guess makes trailers? Yeah, it says, I'll make a trailer game for you. Uh, Subnautica trailer he made, which is god tier IMO, especially for showing the game without showing too much. Being a mod of our Subnautica, I appreciate how many new players have come in without having stuff spoiled because of his trailer and i also thought you guys might be interested thanks for reading and the developer says really good trailer but we're huge fans of making our own and then somebody asks when the trailer will drop days or weeks and the developer says weeks first major slice of gameplay and alongside with other stuff we're showing in the trailer it needs to be just right and somebody says in the comments saying how many weeks do you think and the developer says a lot of them this post was posted two days ago so i'm trying to think weeks we are in July, the first week, so any weeks could be... I'm hoping before the 17th, but, you know, if not, then uh, I'm gonna have to, like, pull out my cell phone and be like, Hey guys, look, the trailer. Up next, we have just a trailer or a fourth dev blog. Are we gonna get more clips and pictures with description and commentary as well? Or just, or just your everyday one-minute gameplay trailer? Now, of course, they've already answered this question saying, No more dev blogs, only gameplay trailers. Um, and they, they, they were quoted as saying... 
big gameplay trailers. Uh, I, I can't really find the comments, and I'm too lazy to go look, but that's just what I remember. Um, and the dev doesn't actually reply to this because it's already been said before, but somebody in the comments says that they've only seen the, the dev say that once, and the dev replies to that saying twice now. And that's pretty much all what this comment has on it. So let's move on to the next one, which says, Meme you've never seen before. And it just says, Void Interactive. Slaps ready or not, this bad boy can fit so much fucking hype in it. And the developer replies with, truth, truth. Moving on to the next one, it says custom servers. And it starts out with a comment that quotes <clears throat> one of the developers, I'm sure. You can technically, but you won't be able to play with others if you replace the files. I'm, I am pretty sure that's how it will work. Servers will block you for using custom files. Oh, this is actually a quote from the mods. According to the mods, there won't be custom servers. I understand if we can use modded files on public or official servers, but shouldn't we be able to customize our own game and play with other friends? And the developer replies with, that statement is regarding official servers. And that is the end of our video here. Uh, I have a frack ton of videos that I really need to finish, but I have just been slacking lately because I've just been busy. There's just been so much going on. But never fear, people. Content will come out eventually. Thanks everybody for coming out to watch, be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, do all that other shit, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye bye